Hello, welcome back. Uh, in our last video, we, d we brainstormed about different entities and their attributes in our online eStore application. And in this video, we are going to discuss more on that line and then try to find out a logical way to store those data. And uh, what essentially we are doing, we are selling different types of product. And those are, those are hardware, and also we are selling some product in software and we are selling let's say books and we are selling something DVDs okay so there are different different categories of products and in hardware we are selling a laptop we are selling a monitor we are selling disks and all those things in software we are selling like Microsoft Office let's say we are selling Adobe Adobe Microsoft or let's say we are selling semantic and then in books we are selling let's say 10 different types of books or whatever Okay, and in DVDs we are selling let's say 100 DVDs. So how do we store this thing? So whatever you are seeing here, so these are the physical things that we are seeing. We are like, you know, we, are, we have a laptop, we have a, so how do I basically model this thing into a table? Okay, so let's say what I do, I'm going to create a table and my table is going to look like something like this. So let's say my table is going to, okay, my table is going to look like this. Say we have a category ID. So like you know, basically I call this hardware is category 1, software is 2, books 3 and DVDs are as 4. Okay. So what I do, I have category ID 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I name, the name of category 1 is hardware and this is software, this is books, this is DVDs. Okay. Then I give some image for that uh, this thing. This is not relevant really. And then let's say uh, category one hardware. We have three products: laptop, monitor, and and desks. Monitor, desk. And then software is a hardware set: Microsoft, Adobe, Symantec. The books. Let's say we have ten of the books. Okay. So let's say book one, book two, book three. So what I store book four? Because I just have only three products. I assumed in the very first place that you know I will have maximum three products in my categories. But look, in this case, book is of ten different books. So in order to do that, what can I do? I can extend this thing and I can add ten more columns and name those columns are product four up to product ten. And then I can keep blank for this hardware and software because I do not have so many products right now but in case of books I'm going to fill them up okay so in case of the book I'm going to fill my columns okay so what the problem that you are seeing if you store uh, the data whatever I sold in this way the first problem is that when we have more products okay so right now by using this thing we, we accommodate up to 10 products so how about tomorrow my business grows and then I'm going to have 100 hardware products so in that case you're going to modify this table whatever so let's say this table is called X okay so you have to modify this table X to accommodate 100 more products okay so that is a problem number that is the first problem second problem is whenever we have 100 columns for the books maybe we do not have so many products in case of software so in that case those things are going to be blank okay so blank is something like a wastage of disk space okay so this is what is the problem so what you see here these things are repeating product 1 product 2 product 3 so these are called repeating columns okay so these are called repeating columns so what you need to do you need to let's remove this repeating column to a separate table okay so that means instead of having one big table like this to split it into two different tables and so this is my table called category in this category table what I'm going to have I'm going to have category ID and category name so name is hardware, software, gadgets, DVD, books, whatever. And then I'll create one more table and the new table name is product. Okay. In the product table, what I'm going to have, I'm going to store all the products that belongs to this category. And then what I did here, I created a new column called cat ID. And this cat ID, I'm going to refer from the category table. 
okay and then I'm going to identify each row of this product by a unique identification number and that is called product ID and tomorrow if you want to have 200 products in DVD movies then what you just need to do you don't need to add 200 columns to this category table we don't need to modify this category table instead just add 200 rows to this product table and refer to the category ID whatever I told you right now is essentially called fast normalization form in database the normalization forms are some sort of rules and those rules will help you to avoid redundancies avoid data anomalies in a database so this is what we are seeing is called fast normalization form it it, it takes care of two things eliminate duplicate columns and in this case we did that we our in this case our duplicate columns are products okay so we eliminate them and create a new table so if you have another set of duplicate columns let's say suppliers or something else then you can also create another table called supplier okay so whatever whatever different types of duplicate columns groups of duplicate columns you remove them and just put them in another table that is the rule number one of the first normalization and second normalization and, and the second rule is says that whenever you create a separate table of each group identify okay so this product will be identified a ID called product ID and that is the primary key 